Okay. Well, welcome guys. We are going to get started. So today we're going to be talking about Modern Roots is natural uh, remedies for cough and cold care for this time of year. Um, coughs, colds, and feeling crummy seems to be a part of the fall season. Um, I don't know if you've gotten sick yet or not, but for some people it's coming and we can do some things to prevent that, to boost our immune systems, make it easier on our bodies. Or if you do get sick, how to mend quicker. Um, yes, all the ingredients are intentional. Yes, absolutely. Um, so when kids go back to school or you have a new work schedule um, and end up sharing the bacteria they or you picked up um, and then bring it home to share with everyone else, um, this is that time of year, the time of year where we're just sharing germs. <laughs> um, I once had a biology teacher ban the use of the word germs because germs is not really a word. So uh, to be correct, bacteria or viral situations. Um, welcome, guys. Welcome that are joining. Um, you're going to learn about natural cough and cold care today. So we're just jumping in. A recent research shows that many cough and flu care medicines can cause more irritating problems. And this is all new, um, especially like expert uh, um, things with the respiratory system that people end up having more issues with, with some of the ingredients that are in stuff, the filler stuff. And it causes reactions for some people. Or I'm sure as a lot of you have learned or used, they just don't work. Some some of the ingredients um, that are used um, in trials and um, placebo effect have been more effective on the placebo side. So making sure that we're boosting our bodies in a natural way is so much easier and, and uh, better for our bodies. Um, erring on the side of caution and trying natural remedies first should always be your go-to choice. Um, these practices are also highly comforting, uh, which help our bodies repair itself quicker. When we're relaxed, when we're sick and we sleep a little bit better, we mend and repair a lot quicker. So we're going to go through some of the product today, which is super exciting um, for you guys to learn about and why we developed that product for cough and cold care. Um, but people that are just joining, welcome, welcome. We're just getting started. Um, what are natural remedies? So a lot of people will hear natural remedies. They don't quite understand it. They don't quite know what those remedies are or what that even means. Um, we hear about people making elderberry concoctions and transforming them into a syrup with honey or interesting tinctures. But do they really work or how do they work? And we're going to we're going to touch on some of those today. Um, at Modern Roots, the key to reducing cough and cold and flu symptoms is by three major things that we focus on here at the store. One, taking the inflammation out. Bad bacteria, fungal, or viral contaminants to the body cause inflammation, which ultimately causes body aches. And we've all been there where you get so, so bad of body aches and pains and you're feeling so crummy that even like if a feather brushes you, you're like, oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. I just, I'm so achy. So some of the remedies today are going to significantly help with that. Number two, easing the aches um, to be able to relax and rest. So when you ease your aches and pains, you can mend quicker because your body and your muscles relax and your body can do what it needs to do instead of being worried about the tenseness. And then three, boosting the immune system allows the body to respond with an army which ultimately aids in quicker mending or repair. And I, I want that army on my side. You know what I mean? Um, so w whatever we can do. And these are things for kids too, for everyone in the family to use. Um, and when you pamper your body with these things, get your body to relax. That's really important for mending and repairing. Let's discuss the products we have at Modern Roots that help, um, but also a few other remedies that partner well with our natural ingredients here at the store. Um, chicken noodle soup. I know that sounds crazy, but come on, chicken noodle soup does make you feel better, but there's research behind it. It show, re, There's recent research that says that chicken noodle soup is better at repairing your body than any cough expectorant that there is. And the reason is um, research shows that this easy to sip soup 
helps our bodies, men, because of the unique blend of amino acids. Amino acids are really important. The correct amino acids are very important to our bodies. Um, those amino acids are glycine, proline, glucosamine, and glutamine. Those are found naturally in broth and significantly help our, uh, to support our T cells. And I'm sure if you guys remember during COVID, there was a lot of talk about T cells and stuff like that and what T cells do. T cells are actually made um, in, our, in our bone marrow. But our T cells protect us from harmful pathogens and send signals to our immune system to respond to these threats. Now, if you don't think that we're wonderfully made, this is a great starting point to say that our bodies are wonderfully made and these natural remedies are going to help support our bodies so that it tells our body in a natural way um, to boost itself. Always opt for home remedies or homemade broth, homemade broth in, in this chicken noodle soup from a turkey or chicken carcass um, because it is uh, really important to get those natural amino acids where everybody wants to use like broth in a jar or um, better than better than bouillon or something like that. But using the carcass and, and using the actual stuff from the bones and making a bone broth is really critical to feeling better in extracting those amino acids. Um, I do have some people that are vegan or vegetarian and they can also do... Um, a vegetable broth, but then you're going to want to add glutamine or glucosamine to that broth. Um, and there's recipes certainly out there for that. But um, yeah, always opt for homemade broth from a turkey or chicken carcass. Not, um, and if you're not feeling sick yet, make some broth now and freeze it. You will so thank me later. Um, it's always great to have broth on hand. It's a lifesaver when you don't feel good. Who wants to make broth when you don't feel good? Although it's very easy. You put it in, you cover it with water, and you let it um, sit on low for about 12 hours or longer. Um, and then you take the bones out. But who wants to wait when you're sick? So if you get on that now, you can freeze some for when somebody doesn't feel well. Um, anybody make chicken noodle soup when you're not feeling well or when someone in your family is not feeling well? And they're just like, oh, thank you so much. Give some hearts or some waves if that is uh, you, which is awesome. And if it's not, it can be in the future. Um, you will be somebody's best friend and they will help take care of you <laughs> once you become sick. But yes, chicken noodle soup does help. And there's uh, reasons why, like I talked about those amino acids. So the next thing is something that we do at the store, um, chaga. Uh, I did a whole uh, live on chaga, so you guys can go look at why chaga and all the reasons why chaga is so beneficial for you. Um, but chaga is a mushroom that grows on the birch tree. It's a parasitic mushroom that kills the birch tree. We harvest it. Um, one of the best places to get it is here in the Midwest because um, it's not spoiled by Fukushima or anything like that in the past. Um, we have uh, birch groves, which is phenomenal. And my dad is actually the one that does all of our chaga hunting. And he's a retired a game warden of 34 years and definitely does um, a great job at Chaga. <laughs> he just brought us five five gallon buckets of it. Uh, he's he's phenomenal. He spends a lot of time in the woods and him and my mom go together and it's really fun to have them part of Modern Roots. So when you are buying our Chaga, you are supporting not just Modern Roots and the employees, but other people and the farms that we use. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I make sure I know where every single ingredient comes from and how it's sustainably harvested. So chaga helps your body from the inside out. So um, we make it into tea and we have it pure and we have it in different um, mixes uh, and blends. Ours is not dissolving. I don't believe in carrying the dissolving kind because you go through processes and you lose a lot of the antioxidants. The world's highest antioxidant is chaga. This is the pure form. Um, and then there, these are blended with other herbs um, or like apples for apple cider and cinnamon, or this one has peppermint and tarragon in it that want that really fresh taste. We had just had an online order of this today and people uh, had commented on the notes section, my all-time favorite tea. It's very fresh, 
lot of people that are sick do like the mint tarragon. Um, it's very refreshing. Um, let's see, modern roots couldn't be more real and raw exactly what our bodies need. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Um, so we make it into a tea. It comes in different, different kinds. So this is the pure kind. I'm going to show you with the pure kind at the end how to make a super simple, quick tincture. Um, and then you can get them blended and it shows how to make them. If you want to make them into a latte, check out the chaga video that I did. You can learn how to make a pumpkin uh, pumpkin chai latte, pumpkin latte or a chai latte, which is really yummy. Um, but let's talk about why chaga. So it's high in betalonic acid and that helps to reduce inflammation. Remember our top three reasons why or how we're going to feel better? Um, number one was inflammation. So we're going to re relieve inflammation in our body uh, or in your system and it may help to produce more cytokines and they help the cells communicate with one another and when they communicate effectively with one another your body isn't being blocked by the sickness or the bacteria or the viral infection and you can you can then and you could feel better quicker um, if you guys have any questions along the way just pop them on i'll try to, i will absolutely try to see Ooh, the pumpkin chaga yes did you make the the pumpkin chaga latte so good um but um, the cytokines, when you produce more of them, they help communicate to your system and to get better quicker. And then plants are amazing. And, and chaga is amazing. Um, chaga is a, a mushroom. But from bi biblical to medieval and before and after, plants have existed then and now. And, um, and, and mushrooms and, and fungal stuff. And so when you think about um, bacteria and viruses and like, for example, you know, COVID, for example, it's mutated or any other viral thing that people associate with mutating. Plants are so phenomenal. And this is what blows my mind. But they were also established in medieval times, biblical times, beginning of time. Right. And as time goes on, they are also mutating. I'm just going to let that sink in for a minute. Plants are mutating at the same rate as viruses and bacteria. So what do you think the answer is to negating a bacterial infection, a viral infection, a cough and a cold, stuff that keeps mutating and, and getting stronger and infiltrating your body? The answer is something that also mutates at that speed. Does that make sense? Does that not blow your mind? Like, that's so cool. We have answers here on Earth that make sense and mutate at the same speed. Like when I, when I put it into that concept, it's just like mine, love, like love that. Um, any questions on that? You guys just pop right in. But anyway, the chaga is also the world's highest antioxidant, which is super important um, to our bodies because the antioxidants help get rid of free radicals in our body, which end up being cancerous cells or um, mutated cells that have issues. So really great to use chaga and especially daily, even kids, kids love it. So um, a great option to drink daily instead of coffee or just as an extra drink halfway through the day. How soon after starting to drink chaga, can you tell a difference in inflammation, feeling better? I have some people that take it within the first few days and have more energy right away. Um, their bodies are highly sensitive to it where I have another um, few people that end up using it and it needs like four or five days, even a week before they start to feel better. It depends on your virus and also your bacteria that you've been hit with, how hard you've been hit. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Um, I know that we want to feel better quicker, but it's not just that. It's using some of the other products um, in conjunction with it if you are sick. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, our next product that we do a lot, um, a sell a lot this time of year is our in sickness and in health, um, essential oil blend. And this is what it looks like. And it's extremely strong guys. Our essential oils are very strong. They have many certifications. They're organic. Um, and we also have them in pure form if you want that, but our in sickness and in health, I'm going to go over what's in this little guy. And then how we use our diffuser. And this is our diffuser right here. And I'm going to start diffusing it 
right now. So this one pops off just the top. We sell this diffuser, which is really, really great. Um, and it says like drain side, um, 300 milliliters, 200 milliliters, 100 milliliters. And I'm just going to do 100. So I'm going to pour my water in. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. I'm going to pour this guy in. Okay. So that brought us right to about 100 milliliters because I'm not going to be running it all night here. And we, we diffuse this in the store as well. But then what I love to do, if you're doing a whole room or a bigger room, I'm going to use seven to 10 drops, okay, if I'm not feeling well. If it's a smaller room, you can do about five drops. But I'm, I'm going to pump it up and do like 10, even 10 to 15, okay? And then you pop the top on and you just hit mist. And we're going to start misting. So I don't know if you guys can start to see that, but it mists right away. I tested a lot of these diffusers and I love this one one of the most because all you got to do is hit the button mist and you can turn a light on it and everything and it just gets going right away like I don't want to wait I don't want to wait for something to wait and and to steam right away but it smells amazing it's very rich and very spicy this is a blend that we make called in sickness and in health so the point behind that is when you're sick you can use it and when you're healthy you can use it as well but we're gonna we're just gonna start Diffusing that in here it smells so good. Anybody use in sickness and in health? Yes, it is um, similar to Thieves or On Guard from you live, Young Living or Dutera. We make ours a little bit different. Ours is much stronger in clove. Some of the more expensive oils we top out first, um, and then lemon and stuff like that, and rosemary fall behind. But let's go through what is in our in sickness and in health and why it works. So clove is a powerhouse of anti-inflammatory compounds. Breathing this really can help you feel better and lessen your cold symptoms. Um, cinnamon, known to benefit the respiratory system, uh, reduces the chances of infection. So a lot of people will get pneumonia or infection or like something in their throat. This reduces your chances of getting an infection. Um, eucalyptus, it's antimicrobial effect, and that means that it kills bacteria that could be causing you to be sick. So in conjunction together, um, they become stronger and work together, which is awesome. Rosemary works as an expectorant uh, when inhaled from, from the diffuser. And an expectorant promotes secretion in air passages used to treat coughs. Um, so we really love using rosemary at the store. Um, and then the last one here is lemon. And it's calming and wonderful to breathe in the steam from the diffuser. Um, I put one of these little guys in a kid's room um, when they don't feel well. Not only does it have all five of those essential oils in it, you're putting moisture into the air, which also helps um, them breathe better and break up mucus uh, even better. So I really love that, putting, putting it in their room when they don't feel well. And plus, like, who doesn't like to be a little babied when they're sick? And they just feel like, oh, I'm cared for. I can sleep a little bit better. I can breathe a little bit better. Who doesn't love that? So again, that is our um, in sickness and in health essential oil. Very, very strong. Do not use this without a carrier oil if you're going to wear it. The best way to use this is in a diffuser. Um, we also have a diffuser for car. So if you end up having to go to work, this is a great way to make yourself antimicrobial. <laughs> um, this little guy plugs into the cigarette lighter and it warms the essential oils on a little pad. You put a few drops on the pad. Don't put too much because you're in a small space. So really five, um, excuse me, two to three drops is plenty to put on the car diffuser, but it feels really good and it helps kind of ease that uh, bacteria or viral, whatever you have going on, which is really nice. Show the cute light. Okay, well, let's see if I can get it to turn on. Oh. So here's a little cute light, if you guys can see it. So it's green right now. Um, it'll turn to teal and then it turns different colors. But kids love that when they go to bed. It's like a little night light at the same time. But I love this if I leave the house and I leave it on, um, then I can see it and I'm like, oh, I should turn that off. But again, this is just steam. So that's the cute little light. Um, yes, night light for the kiddos. I love that. It's like, I'm all about like multiple products in one. 
And so this has a light, it's, it's steam diffusing, perfect. So again, that's our in sickness and in health. Um, have you guys used in sickness and in health? Give me a thumbs up, a heart if you have, or if it's something that you, you want to use. Um, we're going to move on to our vapor fluff, and there's a cool thing with our vapor fluff this week. I bet you guys can guess. Um, the nat it's a natural rub for under nose. Um, there's a comment. But do you have something for the car? Mine doesn't have a cigarette lighter. Yes, we are getting ones that are oil droppers that fill the lid. Um, we don't have them yet, but we will be putting something in there. Um, most likely, we'll, ha we'll even take a poll to see what people want in those. But um, they're like car fresheners, but we're going to do them with essential oils that are antibacterial and antifungal, so stay tuned. They're, they're going to be really cool. Um, they hang from your rear view mirror, or you can just put them on um, in your car somewhere. But Vapor Fluff, the natural rub for under nose, chest, and bottoms of feet. And why bottoms of feet is because on the insole of your uh, bottoms of your feet, um, it, you actually absorb quite a bit there through your skin. And this helps with coughing on the bottoms of your feet. So you want to put it under nose, chest, and bottoms of feet. And it works super, super good in all of those areas. But we're going we're gonna to break down why Vapor Fluff works in those areas. Um, love Vapor Fluff. Yes. Yes, Rachel. I love it too. It's, I love it for my kids too. Um, so first it's got wintergreen. It contains an aspirin-like chemical that helps to reduce pain. It's also really good for toothaches. So if you have wintergreen and you have a really bad toothache, um, you want to put it straight on there, like a couple drops right on there, and it does help reduce the pain. Um, you can use uh, wintergreen essential oil we're talking about, okay? Um, works great for respiratory issues like coughing. This oil is incredibly soothing, and kiddos just love this part of the vapor fluff. It's kind of a smooth mint. You guys know winter green. You can get it in bubble gum or, or not bubble gum, but just regular chewing gum and stuff like that. But it's got that really green side to it, and then it has that minty side, and it's really smooth. So we put that in here. There's frankincense in this, and there are different kinds of frankincense, guys, just like hyaluronic acid for face and all sorts of vitamin Cs for face. Um, between the toes. Yes, I bet you that feels awesome for kids. I'm actually going to try that. I have never done that. I have a little one that's like obsessed with between toes. When she rubs your feet, like she sticks her fingers in there, and it grosses me out. You guys ever? Oh, gosh, crazy, crazy kid. Um, but yes, I'm going to try that. I bet you it feels great. Um, but this has frankincense in it. There are different levels of frankincense. There are different kinds of frankincense. We use the best frankincense, while it's very expensive, that is part of why vapor fluff works. So frankincense reduces inflammation um, associated with flu symptoms, also helpful for nasal congestion and breaking up phlegm in the chest. Remember, we're putting on our chest, under nose and bottoms of feet. And then there's eucalyptus that also helps to loosen phlegm and partners well with frankincense, ultimately making it more effective in breaking up mucus. It also has my antimicrobial benefits. So um, eucalyptus, so many people love that smell, and you can definitely see that pop through in this. And we use eucalyptus in so many items in the store, and we can touch on a few more of those. But then the, the second to last ingredient is peppermint. And peppermint is a decongestion and fever reducer. It makes you feel less plugged up and um, can also help relieve your astatia tubes that run from the ear to the sinus canal, okay? This is your astatia tubes. So your station tubes just run right like this. And when you get a plugged ear and it feels really full, that is because your astatia tube is plugged. And that often comes with cough and cold, right? Don't you? Oh gosh, do you hate that? I hate that when my ears are plugged and you're like, oh, 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 and you just do that all day long, and you're wondering if people are like thinking you're crazy. Um, is is there a recommended shelf life for vapor fluff? One year. Um, all of our products is a one year shelf life. That doesn't mean that it doesn't last more than a year, but we legally have to have a one year shelf life. Um, and this has a lot of essential oils in it. And after about nine months to a year, some of the essentials, depending on what essentials and frankincense is one of them, starts to dissipate. Okay. 
Um, peppermint can also help um, regulate the turbinates in your nose. And we'll talk about that too here in, in, with the next product. But turbinates, the turbinates in your nose are so incredible that they help equalize pressure in your brain. So they swell up and decrease and swell up and decrease. So on this side, it might be like, dang, my nose is plugged on this side. And all of a sudden, you'll feel it switch. Those are your turbinates. That is so cool that our body is made like that to equalize pressure for our brain. Anyway, when you get cough and cold, you kind of get screwed up in that realm because of all of the phlegm or the, the, the gunk in your sinuses. So do you guys ever feel that feeling where it's plugged and all of a sudden it switches and you're like, what, why, why would it do that? I can't even blow my nose. There's nothing in there. Your turbinates are responsible for that. Um, and it is really helpful. Peppermint helps to decrease the turbinates in your nose. When you decrease the turbinates, what happens? You can breathe. And that makes life so much better when you can breathe through your nose, especially at bedtime, especially for little ones. Sometimes they can't communicate that they're just uncomfortable and they're throwing a fit. Sometimes it's just that they have a plugged nose or plugged ears. So being able to relieve some of that is really important. The last essential oil in this is tea tree essential oil. And we go easy with tea tree at the store. Um, I think it can be an overused essential oil, but it is in this because it stops the spread of your bacteria. <laughs> or viral whatever's going on. So we like to be able to, um, more so than viral, it kills bacteria. Incredibly antibacterial. And it also helps respiratory, respiratory issues such as coughs and to help loosen that phlegm. So we have several ingredients in here to loosen that phlegm, but also to help relieve the turbinates um, and help you feel better in your sinus area as well. Any questions on vapor fluff? Any questions on this guy? He's very, very fluffy, and you use them on under your nose, chest, and bottoms of feet, okay? Let me know if you guys have any questions on it. It's fluffy. It's whipped with natural oil, so this is not just pure essential oils. Um, to create a carrier oil that's fluffy, so it applies better, especially for kids. Um, um, it's a carrier oil presence, and it's safe for the whole family. If you're putting it on babies, please make sure that they're six months or older. You really should have essential oils on babies that are six months um, or younger. We do have something called Purely Baby, and it's a baby oil, and it has some essential oils in it, but they're very specific for the needs of a baby under six months, okay, like German chamomile and stuff like that. Um, we do sell pure organics, essential oils that have a plethora of certifications if you're looking for pure. We also do that as well. We do that um, out of our Buffalo store and our Kalispell store, and we will eventually do it online. We're just setting that up right now. We have um, many many essential oils and um, they're all certified organic and cruelty free all that good stuff so um, our next product is nasal relief and it's this little guy now you you guys you would not even believe how much people love this i created this based on getting people to understand the terminate decrease in the nose okay i think there's a comment what was the name of the product you just used was it vapor fluff Vapor Fluff, and before Vapor Fluff, I did In Sickness and In Health Essential Oil. And before that, it was the Chaga, Chaga Tea. Okay. Um, so the nasal relief is just really great because you twirl it off, and it's got a lot of essential oils packed in a little uh, cotton pack on the inside. And how you use it, you sniff, deep sniffs into each nostril. And it's similar ingredients to vapor fluff without the fluff. Um, and it helps the turbinates in the nose and relieving that pressure that we talked about in the nasal passage. Okay. It's great on the go. So when you're just plugged up, it's just great on the go. Sniff, sniff. We have people that buy two or three at a time. I made this thinking, gosh, I, I don't know if anyone will end up using this because it's so little and I'm not sure. It's very hard to keep the nasal relief in stock this time of year because people love to put it on their desk, their purse. Um, their gym bag, whatever they're doing at that time. So easy to take with. I put your vapor fluff on the top of my feet, also where the lung reflex is. That's fantastic, Greta, because that's a great place. Um, yes, exactly. I love the nasal relief. Yeah, it's so, so good. Like, kind of like you think you see this little guy and you're like, oh, 
I don't know, you know, but there's a lot of essentials like the vapor fluff in it that do all of those things for the turbinates so you can breathe once again. Okay, so that's nasal relief. The other one is the Get Better Bath Bomb, and these come in different shapes and sizes at times, but this bath bomb is pretty awesome. It's a repeat of essential oils in vapor fluff and in sickness and in health essential oil, but in a magnesium drenched bath bomb. If you guys haven't seen our magnesium live, you should really go back and watch it because it's a fantastic lowdown on all magnesium that we use, all magnesium that is on the marketplace and what it's used for and why it absorbs into the skin or how it even absorbs into the skin, which is really cool. But this is the Get Better Bath Bomb. It's a repeat of those essential oils and vapor fluff and in sickness and in health. And so what do you do with it? You take a bath with it. You fill your water in your tub and you drop this and it fizzles around and it doesn't just sit on top like essential oils will sit on top of uh, the tub water because there's some ingredients that help incorporate it into the water so that you're getting it all throughout your system. Love these bath bombs. Always have some on hand. I mean, they're just great to have on hand. And we put them in these bags so that they don't lose their essential oils quick. Um, people buy these 10 at a time sometimes because they're like, if I don't feel good, I don't really want to go out and get something. You know what I mean? So this is great to have on hand. Um, get better bath bombs. They are hard for us to keep in stock. So consider your, yourself lucky when you come into the store and you, and you see them here um, and grab a few. Um, and then so that's the get better bath bomb. And you want to soak in that to absorb that magnesium for at least 10 minutes. So sometimes baths are difficult for people, but um, you want to think of it as a body magnesium drench with essential oils that are going to help you feel better, especially for when you're sick. Do you have to be sick to use it? No, we have some people that just absolutely love clove and this is the time of year that they want to use it and they do. So um, you don't have to be sick, but if you are, it definitely helps with those areas. Next up is our magnesium lotion, which so many of you have used and purchased and love. Um, this is the large size kokum butter, um, Litsia Kubeba, which is uh, really good at calming the nerves. And it's also got loads of magnesium in it, of course, and it helps with aches and pains in the body. We have lots of magnesium products, but I'm featuring the magnesium lotion because it is specific to body aches. Not only does it have body aches and you don't, you don't really want to do a whole bunch of stuff and lotion your body after your shower or bath, it's got two steps in one. You're getting your magnesium for better sleep, aches and pains, and then you're also getting your moisturizer in one. So let's, let's, let's knock that out in, in one step, especially when you're sick. Um, it helps to get to sleep better, and when you sleep well, your body repairs itself quicker. We are doing all of these nat natural remedies for those top three reasons, that inflammation, easing aches and pains right here, and then also bo boosting our immune system. So this one really helps with those aches and pains. When you can do those three together, you, you definitely mend and repair so much quicker. This is for the aches and pains. Um, then we have Ninite Spray, which also is magnesium driven. This one is uh, got lavender and Litsi Kobeba in it and lots of uh, magnesium for sleep. You want to spray it on your wrists or bottoms of feet. Um, it's an extra dose of high level magnesium to get the best sleep you can. And we want to get you to REM sleep because when you get to REM sleep, your body naturally repairs itself. And that is God's best medicine he ever created is REM sleep. So, which is super cool. People use them for hangovers too. <laughs> I bet, I bet they do. Um, but anyway, so night night spray, bottoms of feet, wrists, 30 minutes or so before bed. Uh, I use two, three squirts. Sometimes I use three, four. I use it on my kids. On my kids, I use it on their backbone or their tummy. Um, and I let them rub it in. They think it's great. They think it's awesome. My son went to camp with this and over uh, summer, and he had the whole cabin sprayed, all the counselors, all the adults. <laughs> and we had so many orders from this kid spraying everybody because nothing else had worked. And who doesn't, who, what, what counselor doesn't want you to spray all of the kids in their cabin with night night spray? I mean, I would. I mean, let's go night night, like now. <laughs> so night night spray is really awesome. Um, the next one is essential oil uh, bath soaks. This one is the intense muscle ache. We have this in three varieties. We have a natural cleanse, which is focused on more bacteria, and that's purple. And that one is uh, oregano 
and oregano is extremely antibacterial and effective at cleaning and especially cleaning your body. But this one I'm featuring more because this one is our intense muscle ache one. It's a bit higher in magnesium to soak in and specific sea salts to relax. It smells awesome. It's got that clove, lemon, rosemary, uh, mint in it. And it, if you guys haven't had this, you use um, a half of one to a bath. Or we have uh, marathon runners that use it often. After a marathon, they'll buy three of them. They take a bath three days after each day. And they said their repair and their um, turnaround time to run again is so much quicker, which is awesome. Looks like there's a comment, so I was going to read it. Which is better for my husband's restless leg before he goes to bed? Magnesium balm or magnesium lotion? Magnesium balm or balm of Gilead is better. It's, it's more of a time release, so he's not waking up with restless legs. So those ones work typically better for that. Um, so yeah, back to the uh, essential oil bath soak. Give it a try. It's kind of fun. Sprinkles in the tub. Has specific salts in it to help relax. Um, and last... Uh, we have our hand sanitizer. And the reason that I mentioned the hand sanitizer, we have hand sanitizer in grapefruit and in sickness and in health and some in a blueberry kind. However, um, here's the grapefruit one. It comes in a little pump, lasts forever, super moisturizing on hands. Um, our percentages are really high in a very specific ethyl alcohol to not be as drying, um, but to kill bacteria. And yes, we have to have this very specific alcohol in order to kill all bacteria and viruses. Um, it would be selling you a lie if I put something else in there and said that it would kill bacteria. Um, but we backwash this with flaxseed oil, which helps moisturize your hands without destroying them. So we have, we did this <laughs> during COVID. I mean, boxes and boxes and boxes for companies because people were complaining that their hands were bleeding. And it is awesome. No, it does not smell like straight alcohol. Anybody that's used this loves this. It smells a little bit like a time. They're, they're mild because we don't want people, if they're sick we don't or whatever, we don't want people, or they're in a classroom, or they're at work. We don't want it to be an offensive smell. We have in sickness and in health. That's what it smells like. Grapefruit, that's what that one smells like. And then we have a blueberry one, that, and that's what that smells like. They're not strong alcohol smelling. And that's because we use that very, very specific, overly expensive, um, ethyl alcohol. So um, very important what we use. Um, let's see. Hand sanitizer is the absolute best. Yes, it totally is. Oh my gosh, I need to come for a visit there. You should come visit us. <laughs> um, okay, so these are the hand sanitizers that come in little pumps. We also have an eight ounce size so that you can refill your little guy if you want to. And that one's $25, which is so awesome. Just refill your little pump. You're good to go. Or refill all your little pumps for your kids at school. So they stop sharing all their germs or somebody stops sharing their germs with them, which is really great. Um, so that's the hand sanitizer. So next, um, nobody wants us to share our germs. So let's, let's keep it to a minimum. And lastly, I'm going to mention something called Sole water. Are you guys familiar with Sole water? If you are, give me a thumbs up heart. Um, sanitizer smells so good. But my all, also my hands feel soft after. Girl, you're so good. Yes, you know. This is good stuff. Um, but sole water, you're going to take one teaspoon of sea salt. And I'm going to stress this again. Pure sea salt. Look at the ingredients. Make sure there's not an anti-caking agent in it. It's pure sea salt. It'll say Himalayan sea salt or whatever, Celtic sea salt. That's it. That's all you want in the ingredients, Okay. Um, and you're going to mix that into a glass of 16 ounce glass of water. And you're going to try to drink that three, four to three to four times a day. Um, this acts like a highly effective electrolyte for your system. You're going to retain a little bit more water so that you can, uh, it's not just flushing out of your system. You know, when you got the flu and things are flushing out that you wish weren't, you know, like all at one time, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that when that's happening, you need to replenish your body with water so that you can get back to normal quicker. And when you add that sea salt, that acts like a natural uh, electrolyte. And some of the electrolytes on the market are just so packed full of other stuff. And they're like uh, got different stuff like uh, aspartame or stuff like that in it that ends up causing brain issues later that they're finding out. So if you guys can just do the sea salt with the water, you're 
first. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, guys, and it's so much better for you. Okay, so now that we went over all of the stuff that we kind of support our systems with, we, we targeted that inflammation, we targeted the body aches, we've targeted boosting our immune system, you will, he you will mend and repair your body so much quicker um, by doing this and pampering your body and giving yourself time to sleep and relax and boosting your sleep that you're going to feel so much better quicker. Um, so now we're going to do a chaga tincture. It's really quick. Um, I'm going to grab just two things really quick, and I will be right back. If you guys have questions, pop them in right now so I can answer them when I come back. Okay, we're going to make a chaga tincture, and it takes, here's the ratio, okay? Here's the ratio for the chaga tincture. Write this down, okay? Write it down. You got a pen and paper? Okay. In a quart jar, you are going to do 75%. If you have a little scale, that's going to be the best. 75% um, vegetable glycerin, Okay. We use extremely high vegetable glycerin, no animal byproduct in this one. Um, and this is a gentle tincture for kids. This is an anti-alcohol tincture. Um, really, really good for little ones um, so that they're not getting the alcohol content. Um, so you're going to do 75% glycerin, 25% water. Okay, you're going to put that into a quart jar. And then you're going to add on top of that one half cup powdered ground chaga, which you can get pure at Modern Roots. It comes in a bag like this. We sell it at four ounces at a time. They're $25 worth every penny. I have been contacted by companies in Russia um, and China that that is way too cheap. <laughs> and um, But we, like I said, forage for ourselves. And in China, they're trying to mass produce this in labs, which it's extremely low quality and wild is very, very high quality. So you can buy this pure chaga at Modern Roots. And then so you add a half a cup to your uh, quart jar and then that 75% glycerin to 25% water. That means that if you had 75 ounces of glycerin, you'd have 25 ounces of water. So whatever your water is, um, you would fill that up to 75%, weigh it, and then you're going to times that by 0.25 to get your 25% that you're going to add, okay? If you guys have any questions when you're making your tincture, you can always hit me up on Facebook uh, Messenger or Instagram Messenger, and I'll reply to you. We help people every day, and one of our the top looked at tinctures actually on the web on uh, Google is our our Modern Roots Chaga Tincture. Um, that's more with alcohol, but if you guys have any questions with the glycerin type, just let me know and I'll, I'll help you out. Then you add that half a cup of powdered um, chaga to the top of it, you close the lid, and then you roll it. You just kind of roll it. You can shake it, but it's, it's not as easy to shake. So you just roll it back and forth. Then you let it sit in a dark place or like just not warm. Don't, don't let it be hot or anything. Um, in a cupboard and you let that sit for a month and every week I will roll mine. I'll take it out and I'll kind of roll it to mix it all really well. And that really is beneficial to, to keep it mixed. And then after um, one month, you could strain off the chaga and then that is your tincture left. It's that simple. There's no preservative or anything. And usually that tincture lasts about nine nine to 12 months. If you ever grow mold in a tincture or anything like that, then you absolutely want to discard it. But with this glycerin, it helps preserve it. Um, and again, you want to get a really high quality glycerin. We don't sell glycerin here at the store, but you can absolutely get high quality glycerin on Amazon or anywhere else um, that you can. If you want, you can add an eighth of a cup of elderberries, dried elderberries to it to give it a little bit of flavor. And it's not as bitter tasting then, um, and it adds a little bit of flavor. My kids 
absolutely love to to um, take uh, the 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 right amount is about five to ten milliliters daily. And you know those little cups that you get when your kids are sick of like you know like Tylenol will have them or ibuprofen. If you know those little cups, those go up to twelve milliliters just to give you an idea of what what five to ten milliliters looks like. Um, and you want to do that once a day, especially if you're sick, that will help boost your immune system. I have some people that add it to their chaga tea to make it even stronger. Um, but I, I don't, I don't mind taking the tincture at all, but my kids love to chase it with a big spoonful of honey. It's kind of an incentive. Um, but I do love adding those elderberries to it. It makes it really dark purple and fun for kids, but it's also adding some antioxidants and some beneficial acids to um, the chaga tincture. So then once you strain it, you're good to go. Um, you can put it in the fridge if you want it cold. I always leave it um, on a shelf whenever we're ready to use it, but that's it so far. Okay, do you store it in the fridge? Sometimes I do store it in the fridge if, if I want it cold, but there's no reason to store it in the fridge, okay? We're preserving it through the glycerin. Any other questions? You guys can pop your questions on right now. It says, do you sell, oh wait, off topic, your hat is way too cute. Do you sell them? Would be super cute Christmas gift. Okay. We don't currently sell them. We have given them away like this Friday is the deadline. If you guys haven't gotten on our Instagram or Facebook and tagged all your friends in our free giveaway, seriously, you guys just tag all your friends, go share our, our uh, giveaway on your stories and you're in the running to win this and some really cool product all in one. Um, there's a candle, there's rum raisin lotion, there's fall souffle body spray or um, bathroom spray. I mean, it smells so good. You guys want your house to smell like that nice, warm, clovey fall sensation. I mean, who doesn't? But anyway, that one's called fall souffle and that is in there as well. I can use blocks of chaga, right? You can use blocks of chaga, but you're not going to get the displacement that you would with powdered. So if you have a block of chaga or a, a piece of a mushroom of chaga and it's hard is super hard, um, you need to take a hammer to it with a plastic bag around it because your displacement is going to be way better and worth all of your money. The inside of the chaga is where the polyphenols and the vitamins and all that good stuff is where the outside, the dark pieces are the antioxidants. So if you're using the outside mostly, you got to think about displacement and how that glycerin and stuff is getting into the middle. It's not. So you're not going to get the benefits of the inside. And one of one of those in ingredients on the inside is the betalonic acid. So very important that you're getting all of that in there. So try to get it into much smaller pieces if you're going to make it. Um, it's mm, more bang for your buck, I guess, even though it's probably not buck. But just just make sure that you're getting it a little bit finer. Any other questions, guys? Okay, there's one up here. Let's see. I can't figure out how to powder my gags. I can't figure out how to powder mine. Well, you got a hammer, right? Go to town. You angry someday, right? Just, just be like, oh, I got some chaga chew powder. Um, thank you so much for doing these lives. So beneficial. I'm so glad that you guys find these beneficial. It's really important for you guys to understand why we're doing the stuff that we do and why those ingredients are in there. Okay. It's very important to me as a developer and a creator that we take the creation to the knowledge, to the customer, right? It's not just, oh yeah, this will work. Here you go. Right. Well, we want you to understand the reason and the why. Okay. Any other questions? You can pop them on right now. Um, sleep, natural remedies, water, repeat. I would, I would bet uh, you'll be feeling much better quicker than you ever have. And it's a good guideline to even like write it down. See, see when you start doing some of this stuff, write it down and see when you're feeling better quicker versus when you haven't. Um, supporting your immune system is incredibly important. And if we're doing it with plants that are mutating, just like bacteria and viruses, why not? That's the best way to combat things, is it not? 